I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, man, to all the supporters. It take people years to get monetized and start making money on YouTube. And I done did it in less than a year, so I just want to say, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. I got some new glasses. These glasses fire. These glasses look like good. These glasses fire, right? YouTube. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping, man? Back with another video, another vlog, all that. Another day in the life. So right now, man, I'm headed to a pickup out here in Texas. Picking up this load, man. About to head to Denver, Colorado. Not looking forward to going to Denver, but what can you do, man? I just avoided Utah to come to Texas. And then as soon as I get to Texas, they send me right back to, uh, they send me another load right back to Denver, Colorado. Like, man, I'm not even, I really don't even want to go in that area right now, but what can you do, man? What is this? What is this? Yeah. This look kind of spooky over here. got me going through over here this is crazy I'm all up on the stump come on man oh, man yeah I just ran that I just ran that um I just ran some combs over hope they ain't mad about that that turn was too tight man This shit is crazy, bro. I was reading the reviews before I came here and on trucker paths, I was reading the reviews for some truck drivers and they were saying this is one of the worst places to come to because the construction is bad. And they also said that this place is super tight over here for trucks too. Let's see if I can walk in here. Oh my God. All right, so I actually found the place. I had to go walk over there. Of course, I was in the wrong place at first. So I had to make a U-turn and then go. Um, now I'm going back over there pretty much. So. checked me in and they gave me a door door six uh it was pretty fast pretty fast check in the back end looks don't look too bad but it is some trucks over here so let me see yeah this is actually not the greatest actually kind of bad over here 
that guy blindsided backing over there? Nah. I don't got no time for that, man. Not trying to start my day off with no blindside back, man. I gotta clean my windows, man. My windows, my, my mirrors, I can barely see up my mirrors. trailer
this this is what I keep in my truck so I'm about to try to clean my windows with this my window is super dirty As y'all can see, my window is super dirty right now. So I hit it with this right here. Oh, I got a little thing too. I got this right here. I've been going through the snow, man. Got my went my mirrors messed up. I can't even see. I just did a blind side back. I promise y'all I could not see when I was just backing up in my mirrors. So I got backed into the door. This wasn't a hard one. It wasn't like super easy, but it wasn't super hard either. Maybe I made it a little harder than it needed to be, but anyways, got back in the door, parked up. Once I get loaded, I'll jump back on camera and then we'll pull out and figure out where I'm gonna go park at today. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna drive much today because the load is only like 800 miles and I got two days for it, so. Jump back on camera once I'm loaded, then we'll hit the road. Catch y'all on the next clip. I got some new glasses. These glasses, fi. Like, they look good. But, yeah, anyways, man, I cannot make this up. Bro, it's 3.37. I'm still here, bro. Like, I got here at 11, 10 or 11. Right now, it's 3.37 p.m. And I'm still in the door, still being loaded. Bro, this don't make no sense, bro. I cannot make this up. Crazy. Shaking my head. Life of a trucker. I was just making I was just making sure door six uh is, is almost loaded door six, you think? Um you uh, in going to Colorado, Denver, Colorado. Okay. Almost ready? Yeah. Yes, in the door six. Yeah, almost ready? Yeah, no, no, not ready. Not ready yet. Damn. It's going to be a long time more? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, one hour more. Maybe. Okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God, bro. Damn. Shit don't make no sense, bro. Uh, do I need to put a do I need to put a load bar back there? A load? You think I need a load bar? Oh, no, nah, should be. Uh, no, nah, that should be good. Load? No, nah, that should be good. Well, that's a lot of product. That's crazy. Oh. Appreciate it, my man. You have a great weekend. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Finally out of here, man. Took forever, bro. Five hours, six hours. I don't know. All right, YouTube. So I'm finally leaving out, man. As y'all can see, man, this is one of the worst pickups ever five six hours just to get this load picked up i can't do nothing but go park up so what i'm about to do is as y'all see i'm leaving out right now i'm about to go find somewhere i can park and get over there because it's getting super late so um 
y'all give me a few once i figure out what i'm gonna do or where i'm gonna park at i'm gonna jump back on camera and then we gonna park it up more than likely i'll run this load the majority of it tomorrow saturday and sunday is due monday like i said before so i still got plenty of time it's just that i didn't get much done today so it is what it is catch y'all on the next clip man let me figure out where i'm gonna park at and then that's gonna be it with this one man crazy day man crazy crazy day trying to get out of texas immediately catch y'all on the next clip man so i pretty much found somewhere to park it's a little mom and pop truck stop i found it pretty much in the cut that's why i like trucker path man that's why I like Trucker Path, man. Help you find them little mom and pop truck stops that you will probably never really notice. So, I'm gonna try to park up here. It looks like there's some parking over there. I do need to wait my load too. I guess I probably could do that in the morning. Ah, let me do that now. Let me wait my load out too while I'm at it. wait good if it ain't i ain't fixing it to the morning man i'm gonna just park up man this load feels super heavy though and as y'all can see from when i was at the shipper it was a lot of product back there but yeah my weight good less than 12 5 less than 34 less than 34 it's a heavy load 74,000, but the weight good so we good It's kind of rocky, so I'm going super slow. So yeah, man, I'm taking y'all on a real day in the life. Like that's how I be, man. Day in the life, sometimes truck driving, man, especially over the road. You sitting at a shipper or a receiver for five to six hours. It really do be like that sometimes. That's really like a day in the life. It really do be like that sometimes. That is not fun, man. Sitting at a place for five to six hours trying to be loaded or unloaded. That's really like the worst, but. Yeah, man, day in the life, showing y'all the real views, how it really be sometimes, man. YouTube, what's poppin', what's poppin'? Good morning, man. Another day. About to hit this road. I did get up super late today, not gonna lie. Probably should've already been up on the road, but. be like that sometimes right now it's 7 14 basically got up at like 6 30 but i was playing too much laying down on my phone i should have been left out got up did a pre-trip made me something to eat hazards radio the voice of the national women and now i'm basically about to be leaving out So I basically got like 700 miles left on the trip. And then uh, we should be in Colorado. I don't even know if I'm gonna get out of Texas today. I was looking at that too. Texas kind of a big state. Like it'd be taking a little while to get out of Texas. So I might or I might not get out of Texas today. See, but when I was doing my 
my pre-trip this morning, I was looking at places I could park, and most of them were still in Texas, so let me see. Shout out to this little mom and pop truck stop, Shells. Came in super clutch last night. I did not feel like doing anything else once I left out. Once I picked the load up, so truck stop was super clutch. But can I go this? No, let me go this way. I'm gonna just slide through the pump. Randy's hometown truck stops. Shout out to Randy Truck Stop, man. conditions like that's just not my style I would prefer not to deal with that so I'll be going home as often as possible throughout the winter time and then in the summer and the springtime that's when I'll just run it up and get them out so 
the winter time man i don't think it's like a time to be trying to really go crazy or really run it up that's just my personal opinion some people could feel different you know just me personally with the snow and all these bad conditions bro i'm not trying to be like driving back and forth in the snow having to worry about that type of stuff so and it's like everywhere i go is it's snow everywhere the midwest the west coast like unless i'm in the south you pretty much are dealing with snow and that's just not fun which the snow isn't like the snow is not like bad like it's like unbearable you can't drive but some places man like my company based in north dakota like man north dakota minnesota man like those places are getting severe weather like the snow in minnesota and north dakota bro is extreme like it's damn that impossible to drive some days because the snow is just super crazy bro like the other day last week i was in north dakota going into my company terminal and bro i was driving super slow and super safe and it was still at times when I hit my brakes to turn or to go somewhere, you could feel the truck trying to slide from up underneath you. Like, bro, you have to be extremely, extremely on point with these conditions as of late. So it's not something that I would say is like fun. It's something you have to be super attentive and just on point. It's people wrecking out every day. Truck drivers losing their license every day, getting, getting into accidents every day. Like, man, I be driving right now, like last week. Bro, I was literally counting the amount of cars I seen wrecked out last week. Like, it's just ridiculous, bro. It's like people see snow or the, the um, winter time come, and people automatically just start driving stupid. I don't know. The amount of cars I seen wrecked out last week was just, like, ridiculous, bro. I'm just like, man, people really can't drive. And not just cars, bro, like... I literally seen trucks wrecked out, flipped out, flipped over on the side of the road. It's crazy, bro. So, all in all, that just gave me the perspective of like, man, the winter time is really not the time for me to be trying to play around or go too crazy. It's the time for me to just try to stay safe as possible, stay attentive as possible, stay as focused as possible, make it through the winter time, and when the spring and the summertime come, that's when we gonna run it up. So that's just my opinion, that's just my advice. Y'all might feel different, which is cool, but I'm just, you know, putting my opinion, my perspective out there. Anyways, that was a good morning conversation for y'all. I went on a little rant. Hopefully y'all found some valuable information from that, or, you know, if you agree or disagree. But, um, yeah, I see him going down this downgrade right now. My truck's so heavy. That's another thing, too, before I let y'all go. So, man, when your truck heavy, you can go down the, the slightest downgrade, and your truck is, <laughs> your truck gonna be going dumb fast. Like, when your truck is heavy, heavy, I'm at, like, 74,000 pounds on my truck. Right, like, my truck and trailer right now, like, 74,000 pounds, as y'all seen from the cat scale yesterday. If I go up a hill, it takes forever because my truck's so heavy and all the weight is in the back. So it's dragging my truck, it's dragging my truck down because my trailer's so heavy. And then when I go down a curve, my truck goes extremely fast because it's so heavy in the back and all that weight in the back of the trailer is pushing my tractor down the hill super fast. Like right now I'm going up the hill and my truck is dragging because my trailer's super heavy. I can't even go fast on my speedometer as I can see because it's super heavy. Some of y'all probably like, man, and we know that, bro. <laughs> but it's cool, I'm just saying, for the people that might not know that, it's just some game. But if y'all know that already, I apologize. Y'all probably like, bro, we know that, we get it. But yeah, it's just, you know, maybe for some new people out there. What you doing, bro? Oh, you turning, okay. But yeah, man, so, um, again, man, glad y'all rocking with me, man. Shout out to all the new subscribers, like I said, man. Right now, I'm at, as you're making this video, I'm at 990 subscribers. By the time I drop this video, I'll be at 1,000 subscribers, man. My channel is finally gonna be monetized, so I'll finally be making money off my YouTube videos. It's been less than a year, man. My YouTube channel already about to be monetized, so 
Shout out to my subscribers, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate everybody supporting, man. For real, man. I be on YouTube. It take people years, man. Like I, I follow YouTube pages right now. That when I first started truck driving, I was following those YouTube pages. Like they kind of inspired me to start making videos, and I still follow those channels to this day. Man, my YouTube channel done blew past some of those channels and numbers. Like I wasn't even making YouTube videos last year. And now my YouTube channel got more subscribers than a lot of channels I was following last year. So, man, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, man. To all the supporters. It take people years to get monetized and start making money on YouTube. And I done did it in less than a year. So, I just want to say, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. And we're going to keep it rocking. I'm trying to be more consistent, man. I definitely do need to be more consistent with dropping the videos. Again, man, I get messages, damn that every day, comments a lot, but man, y'all be sending them DMs like crazy on Instagram, and I understand, man, I gotta just be more consistent, so I appreciate y'all, man, I'm gonna definitely try to be more consistent, and uh, yeah, that's that, so a little more than conversation with y'all, man, I know I might not sound the most upbeat right now, again, I'm just getting up. And I was definitely up too late last night, as always. So, right now I'm gonna rock out a little bit, vibe out a little bit, and then I'm gonna jump back on camera with y'all in a few and figure out what I'm gonna be doing. And then we gonna go from there, so. Catch y'all on the next clip, man. So uh, I actually stopped right quick and came to Walmart. It was one of those sporadical, sporadic decisions. I said sporadical. That might be a word, sporadical. But it was one of those sporadic decisions just to stop right quick because I do need to get some bread for my truck. I think some bread and some Gatorade, yeah. So I literally just stopped right quick. Walmart grabbed me some stuff. And then I'm gonna jump right back on the road. So it says this Walmart allow allows parking while shopping. So my truck should be pretty good. So yeah, just some quick going to Walmart, grab me some stuff, maybe like 10, 15 minutes, and then right back to the truck. Had to do it. Didn't want to do it, but I had to do it because I know I need to get some stuff for my truck. And there's winter time. You never want to get caught without no food in your truck. You never know. If you shut down somewhere and you don't got no food, you'll be messed up. So let me go in here and grab me some stuff. And then we get right back to the road. Yep, I do. I, I would agree. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you have a good day too. All right, man, back to the truck. $60 spent. I don't know if it's me, but man, groceries getting super expensive. I just spent $60 in like 15 minutes. I guess that's how I beat her. Good productive truck. Needed to get some Gatorade, some bread. I'm a big fan of tuna. Maybe anybody that's out there that, let me show y'all. I, I love eating these right here. Tuna, these tuna packs. If anybody on the road, they might need some just quick stuff to have in your truck. Man, I love getting these tuna packs, especially with ranch. Oh, I should have got some crackers too. Yeah, I'm about to go back and get some crackers. I completely forgot to get some crackers, man. Dang. 
Yeah, yeah, cause uh, tuna with bread and tuna with the crackers, man, I, it be hitting. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and get some crackers and then I'm gonna be out. So I got the crackers secured, rich crackers. These gonna be fine with my tuna. So yeah, we out to the road now, back to the road. Yeah. Swift pulled up over here too, but we out. Don't love me, can't hurt me. What you're doing can't hurt me. What you're doing. Like, bro, what? 
but they always say when you go through areas that just have like grass and no trees is always bad with the wind because it's nothing stopping the wind from just blowing back and forth bro there's no trees there's no nothing like it's just straight wind coming across what east and west like yeah bro it's crazy right now man but yeah that's my update for y'all i ain't gonna stay on too long i gotta stay focused is this here crazy but i'll just give y'all an update right now it's rocking like we on the boat right now my trailer going crazy but i'm keeping it in my lane i'm just hugging that white line to the right and uh yeah that's what we doing right now man so i'll jump back on here with y'all and i get some sort of update or hopefully i get out of this wind because it's crazy right now man catch y'all on the next clip man today man 425 miles in a book not a long day at all i think i'm gonna park up right here i found a little mom and pops truck stop so i'm gonna check to see if i can park here and if so is this it right here you have reached your waypoint the waypoint is on your right after 700 feet, turn left onto East Pine Street and then turn right. Yeah, I think this is it, but I definitely missed that turn though. Oh, this ice looks spooky. Let me make sure I go super slow. So uh, they said this was the truck stop right here. I'm still in Texas. This is crazy. It takes forever to get out of Texas. I don't know. But uh i'm gonna see if i could just park up here and i was reading online that they have some good food too so i'm gonna see if i could just park up here and um yeah that'd be it for today man i only see one truck which i like that's pretty good the parking is super easy so it's looking like this might be it right here we're gonna see some people have some negative stuff to say, which I won't repeat, because that won't apply to me or a person like me. But some people was talking crazy about this truck stop. I don't think I had those type of issues though. But uh, I'm gonna go see if I can try to find some food too. Hold on, let me kill my clock first.
So yeah, pretty easy back and straight back. I don't wanna hit that pole back there. I do not want to hit that pole. Let me just go jump out and look. That pole making me kind of nervous. I don't want to run into that pole. I finally got some time alone. <clears throat> yeah, I still got some good room. Yeah. Super slow. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm out here in Texas with the cows right now. Let me see if I can go back there. Oh, it's a cow. Y'all see that right there? I think that's a cow, yeah. I'm really out here in Texas with the cows on the farm. Truck stop right next to a farm. Y'all see that? That cow looking crazy. He looking like, boy, don't come over here. It's dangerous over here. But yeah, cow, man. That's crazy. Moo! 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 Yeah, I don't think they messing with me right now. But yeah, let me go get some food, man. Check this store out right here. I check this restaurant out. I'm just out here really looking at this cow. That's a nice looking cow though. And y'all see the brown one right there too? There's two of them. A white one and a brown. Moo! Sup? How you doing? That cow looking crazy. Nah, don't come over here. What's up? <laughs> That's crazy, a cow. So, uh, so like I was saying, I seen online that this place right here has some good food, I think. So I'm gonna see if I can get some food from over here. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. So they had like some good burgers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just take a look and see. It's snowing in Texas, wow. I would have never thought that. The front porch. Oh, open Monday through Friday? Oh, they closed today. Damn. They closed on the, uh... Oh, they closed. Mm. Closed on, uh... They close on the weekends. Crazy. All right, let me. The reviews online about this truck stop were bad about the food, so. I guess I'll just check in here. See if they got some food. But. The reviews wasn't that great. Bro, it's 10 degrees. My hands is freezing right now. Oversized load right here, I think. Yeah, I think it's an oversized. Why is it so cold in Texas right now, bro? 
It's literally 10 degrees. That's crazy. Uh, I just went to Walmart today too, so I shouldn't even be spending money on food, but I just want to see what they got. I'm on my uh, fat boy stuff right now. Being a fat boy today. Hello. Hi, how are you? Want dinner? Let me see the food. All that stuff available up there? Not the egg fried pizza. Uh, the breakfast stuff available? Uh, we don't have the ham or steak burrito. Uh, which is that? Okay. Or the ham burrito. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Yeah, uh, breaded chicken sandwich, chicken sweet. Remember about Oh, yeah. You, you want to? Oh, yeah. I'm just watching. Well, just... Bye. Oh, they got Bye, Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cheeseburger. I just got some all over. Oh, uh, uh, the cheese, you guys have cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah. I can have you one menu. Yeah, I have a cheeseburger. Um, What about, you guys have fries too or no? I've got curly fries. Oh, yeah, I'll take those too. Perfect. I bought bread from Walmart and for some reason I don't see it in my truck so either I left it in Walmart or you people that stay in this area are they are they Dallas Cowboy fans? Or not really? There's a good mix. Oh, okay. I'd say it's between most people I see around here are either cowboy fans or yeah. Bronco fans. Denver Broncos? Yeah. Oh yeah, because Denver, oh yeah. I'm actually headed to Denver, Colorado. Oh okay. Oh okay. What do you think about Russell Wilson? Nah. He ain't helping us very much. Yeah, I thought he's gonna be better. He, he ain't gonna be the next Peyton Manning. Nah. Nah. Okay. Perfect. Ketchup, mustard, oh, ketchup would be good. Ketchup? And mayonnaise, yeah, perfect. Oh, I'm good to go? You are good to go. Perfect. Great nice. service, great energy. You have a great day. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh -huh. Stay warm. Appreciate that. Thank you. So, yeah, there was. They were super cool in there. Uh, the food looked, the food looked pretty good. So, pretty productive, I say. I'm gonna let y'all check the food out once I get to the truck. But I mean, it's only burger and fries. I don't think y'all really need to see that. I hope y'all be appreciating the amount of effort I really put into these videos. I really was about to start eating, and I was like. Why not just show them the food? It's nothing crazy, but it ain't gonna hurt just to show y'all, so. But yeah, I really, I'll be putting effort into these videos for y'all, for real. But yeah, so nothing crazy. Little burger. Nice little cheeseburger. Nice little curly fries. Now this is really the end of the vlog for today. Y'all seen the food, we parked up. Catch y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is not it, bro. It says negative one degrees. It says it feel like it's actually negative 15 degrees. This is crazy. All right, so we out. Hitting this real early. I actually see that Colorado is um Colorado is behind the time frame so it says I'll get there by like around eight o'clock. So hopefully that's a good thing. I could get there and find some parking. But we're gonna see. Today is a smooth trip. Should be Sunday. No 
traffic. Shout out to Alls Up. That's where I was last night. I had Texas. Uh, he didn't need to start blowing. Come on. It's too cold right now. So um, I was watching some NFL football last night. The games was pretty good. Shout out to Houston, Texas and um, Kansas City Chiefs, which I knew Kansas City was gonna win. Dolphins disappointed like they always do. Dolphins just shaking my head. They didn't even they didn't put up they didn't even put up a fight. That was embarrassing. But um if, if I got any if I got any football fans out there, who y'all think gonna make it to the Super Bowl or win the Super Bowl? My personal opinion, I think it's gonna be the 49ers and more than likely the Chiefs. I want the Ravens to go, so I'll say the Ravens or the Chiefs from the AFC. Lamar Jackson, pretty much my favorite player. He from he from uh, Florida. So I hope Lamar Jackson get the and win one. But we'll see. Oh, I just made it to New Mexico. Viva la New Mexico. Viva la New Mexico. How you say it? Viva. Viva la no. Viva la New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah, man. Shout out to New Mexico, man. I'm real done driving through New Mexico right now. If you've never been through Mexico, well, right now you're not gonna really see no views because it's super dark, but low key, New Mexico got some beautiful views, man. I prefer going through there during the day. I only been to um, New Mexico like one or two times, I think. One time for sure, no, yeah, I think one time. One or two times, I'm not sure, but I always remember like, Damn, New Mexico actually looked better than I thought it was gonna look. Like you see, back at home, they make New Mexico like sound like damn near like a third world country or something. But if you actually go through New Mexico, bro, it actually don't look too bad. Like the views are like really amazing in New Mexico. Crazy enough, but uh, I probably I probably won't even really get no views because it's gonna be super dark. By the time I, by the time they, by the time the sun come up, I'll probably be way past New Mexico. So, but uh, so what's on the itinerary for today? Not much. Not not like an exciting day or nothing. Um, again, like I say, just pilot and parking up. Hopefully, we'll see. But um, let me. Let me go ahead and vibe out in the morning, man, like I always do. Give me like a couple hours or so. Let me get myself together, really wake up, vibe out. I got like a little routine I do in the morning that really helped me get up and get myself in like a really good mental space. I can't really do that on camera while I'm trying to entertain y'all, so. Give me a few, and then I'm gonna pop back on camera with y'all with some sort of update. And then we'll just go from there. You feel me? I hope y'all doing good out there. I hope y'all staying warm because right now it's negative one degrees and I'm not feeling it. So catch y'all on the next clip, man.
know when you truck driving, you get a lot of time to think, especially when you just out on the road driving. Also, my mama raised me to be a thinking man. I forgot where I get that quote from. I forgot the name of the movie with Mark Wahlborn and Andre 3000. That was a super good movie, one of my favorite movies. But uh, yeah, it was a movie, it was based in Detroit when, when their mom got killed and they all reunited to go find who killed their mom. I forgot the name of that movie. That's one of my favorite movies too. I always watch it whenever it come on. But uh, anyways, let me stay focused. So yeah, so I was just thinking, I was really just thinking, man, like, yo, what's the point of snow? Think about it, like, really think about it. Like, what is the purpose of having snow? Like, why did God make snow? I don't get it. It's just so pointless. Like, I was one of those people before I started truck driving, you only seen snow like in the movies and on TV, it looked just so fun. Man, ever since I became a truck driver and started driving trucks, bro, I hate snow. Like whenever I see snow, I get a complete attitude. Like I was just driving, coming through New Mexico and just driving through, it was, everything was going good. I seen snow and immediately got an attitude. Like bro, snow is just, annoying bro like what is the purpose of snow i was just sitting back driving thinking like man life as a truck driver would be so much easier if snow didn't exist i know Detect I'm, a congestion 0.0 miles ahead i know i'm just complaining right now but these are my thoughts as i'm driving i'm like man like snow is just so pointless bro like i don't get what's the purpose of having snow I wish 12 months around a year, 12 months out of the year, there was no snow. That was that would be such a good life. Yeah, I'm just rambling though. I'm just ranting because I don't like the snow. But uh, my update for y'all. So yeah, man, made it through Texas, the rest of Texas. Drove through, drove through New Mexico without any problems. Now I'm in Colorado. I'm almost the pilot, like basically 15 minutes out. So I ain't gonna lie, it's been a pretty smooth trip. Those four hours, I don't know if everybody feel like that, but man, four hours, like a couple hours fly by when you're truck driving, like 260 miles, that's like four hours. Bro, it literally don't feel like I did nothing today. Like that, those 260 miles flew by. That's really light work to me, personally. But, uh, so yeah, pretty smooth trip. It's gonna be an easy day. Hopefully if I can park that pilot, it'll be a smooth day, but we'll see. Look at that car right there. Like, how, what? That's what I'm saying, look at this. Look, look people cannot, oh my God, bro. People cannot, I'm telling you, bro. That lady just wrecked out for no reason on this bike, bro. It's so crazy, bro. But yeah, let me just stay focused, man. Like I said, um, I'm like, 15 minutes out from pilot. I'm trying to pass this Steven trucks because this, like, bro, keep going fast and then going slow, going fast, going slow. Like, I don't know what bro doing. But, uh, yeah, I'm like 15 minutes out from pilot, 14 minutes. And then once I get there, I'm gonna let y'all see what's up. Hopefully there's some parking, I'm hoping so. Fingers crossed, park up, and then, you know, that's it. I don't know what bro doing, uh, bro, I don't know what he doing, but. But yeah, uh, Thank y'all for listening to my little rant, listening to me complain. I hope y'all don't think I'm a complainer, but you know, sometimes I just like getting on here venting to y'all, so forgive me. But yeah, like I said, catch y'all once I get the pilot. Give me a couple minutes. We're gonna be at pilot in a second, so yeah. Let me get back over. Finally passed that Stevens truck. Thank God, bro. But yeah, catch y'all at pilot, man. Those views look crazy over there. Y'all see the mountains? Whoa, that look crazy. Yeah, those mountains look crazy. Whoa.
right, so made it to pilot. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully, some parking. Oh, matter of fact, I'm good. I can park across the street. Yeah, we good. Even if it ain't no parking out pilot, I go park right at Quick Trip. Yeah, yeah, we good. Everything good, man. Everything good right now. Good day, good day, good day. Can't complain, can't complain, can't complain. Pilot, do look packed, boy. I might have to swing over the quick trip if they play over here. Spaces, reserved spaces, bro. Yeah, those are reserved over there, too. Let me check right here. Might be good right here, yeah. Bro, kind of tight right there. I don't know. I'm about to keep it super tight to my driver's so side. Super tight to my driver's side. Yeah, right there. I need to get next to that truck right there. All right, I should be good. I should be good. I don't like it. Pull this way. Can't see on my blind side over there. Yeah, that curve. All right, I see the curve. Had to clear that curve over there. On my blind side. And I see the Gucci start swinging it. I gotta stay super tight. Nah, off a little bit. And I hit that curve over there. I just hit the curve. Nothing too crazy though. Oh, why you gotta go slow? And then we should be Gucci. Yeah. I never understood why they put curve right next to the parking spot. Oh, uh, a real slow. Uh -uh. I'm still off, man. This is a little tricky one. Pull up one more time. Now nah, I should be Gucci. I think the curve throwing me off a little bit. But I should be Gucci right here. Yeah. And then whip it. And then whip it. All right, cool. Keep it close because it's tight on that side. Give it one more little bend like that there. Boom. And then straighten up. And I should be Gucci. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can actually pull up and make it a little bit more even. I'm good, but I want to be, you know, like, um, I want to split the lane down the middle. So I'm going to just pull up one more time. Make some perfectly even on this side. All right, cool. Yeah, that's better. I'm split straight down the middle now. That's how I like to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get out and show y'all this one. This was a little, um, 
This is a little different, but nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Gotta just always go slow. That's my favorite rule. I just go slow. Always go slow, man. So as y'all can see, locked up even. All right here, even. Cool, even. And then on this side, this is why I was kind of going a little slow. If you look over here, see them even in the lane. But if you look over here, right here, you see this trailer is super close. Right here, you see this? Look how close this trailer is on my blind side. So as I was parking, he's literally over the line right here. Like this truck was over the line. So as I was parking, I had to keep in mind, I had to hug my driver's side super tight because I had to keep in mind he's all the way over the line right here, this truck, where he's basically on top of the line. So I had to be super, super aware of this um, truck next to me when I was parking. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show y'all. And now I'm gonna go book a shower and then that's probably gonna be it. So as you can see, even and then as you can see even all right let me go book a shower now so as y'all can see basically 60 miles for the morning that i'm gonna get up and drive appointment at six so more than likely i get up around three or four a.m to get there kind of early so that's what we're working with right now all right so go ahead and book my shower through pilot through the pilot app Hopefully there's some showers available. Oh yeah, four available right away, perfect. Perfect. We out. So you see when I was parking right here, it's this curb right here, right in front of the parking spaces. So that's why you gotta go slow. I tap the curb a little bit, but you know, when you go slow, it ain't nothing crazy. Versus if you're going fast, you might tell your tire off or tell your your uh, bumper off if you go too fast so i was backing up a little slow on my blind side the curve crept up on me i was going a little slow i was going a lot slow so it wasn't a big deal but uh i want y'all to see the weather right now look at the weather right now hold on look at the weather Come on, man. How, how does this make sense, man? Shaking my head. Crazy. Feel like I'm in Alaska right now. Literally. But, uh, so yeah, the reason why I stopped here and not closer to my drop off is because this is the last pilot um, on my path before I get to my drop off in denver colorado so it was either now or never can y'all see that view over there those mountains over there in the back those mountains look crazy yeah it's crazy showers Shower number five. Four, zero, two, six, three. Perfect. Oh yeah, this is super clean. Like that. So yeah, man, another day in the books. Uh, get up tomorrow early, hit that road, drop that load, then we done with it. Catch y'all on the next clip, man. Let's go. So I lied. I'm gonna take y'all with me to, uh, what is it? Is it Arby's? It is Arby's. Uh, Arby's. 
the uh, Arby's. So I thought that was the end, but I decided to get some Arby's. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hello. Hi. What can we get for you? Uh, how much is the the um the five piece the chicken tenders? Uh, good question. The chicken without a meal is seven oh nine. The, the chicken tenders? Yeah. Oh yeah. How much is the meal? Medium, medium or large? Medium. Peanut butter cookie or anything else for you? No, that'd be all. Oh, okay. Oh, for here or to go? To go. Can I get your name for the order? A N T. Twelve fifty six is the total. Perfect. Maybe about six minutes. Okay. Uh, you guys have any ketchup? I have some ketchup. This is ketchup. Yeah. Oh, maybe something for the yeah, something for the nuggets too. I don't think we have any. Of those. I'll just get. Uh, what is barbecue? That's uh, a Bronco Berry sauce. So here's your barbecue. Okay, I'm gonna just take that. Right? You can get three of those. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let me show y'all what I got before I get back to the truck. Cause I know I'm not going to do it once I get to the truck. This is basically what I got right here. Something simple. Nuggets, fries. Got some ketchup in the bag. Nothing crazy. Pretty good. So yeah, there's going to be the end, man. I'm about to go back to the truck. Get up tomorrow early. Jump back on the road. Catch y'all tomorrow, man. I would say good morning, but boy, this is not a good morning right now, boy. This is some real pressure right now. I got up at four o'clock. Thank God I did get up early, cause man, this weather is, boy, this weather going crazy right now. I don't know if y'all can see that from the camera right now, but bro, it is real deal coming down out here. It's super dark. And this snow is just really coming down. I had to get out that right lane because the right lane was just looking too bad. It was too much snow over there. It looked a little bit better, so I might get back in that right lane, but I'm gonna just wait for right now because that right lane was looking spooky a few minutes ago. Yeah, I think it's good now. All right, yeah, it's actually, man, y'all bring me good luck. Cause as soon as I start recording, the snow slow down. Perfect. But uh, just a brief update, this morning was not the greatest. My check engine light came on, it's still on. I know my engine is good because this morning I did a pre-trip and my engine and oil, everything was good. I start driving for like maybe 30, 25 minutes. Check engine light come on, I'm like, what? So I pull over, cool it and I froze up in the tank. And then on top of that, I'm driving, I look back, my reefer on my trailer is supposed to have a white light, which means everything is good. My reefer has an orange light on it. So then I pull over again to check my reefer. My reefer is just going crazy. I don't know because maybe it's too cold or what, but, but my reefer was just like, it had a um, like a alarm code on, and it was just moving super slow as if the battery was dying and the, the reefer wanted to completely shut off. So I turned it off, turned it back on like one or two times, and that worked. Not a light is white, if y'all can see it back there, I'm not sure. But yeah, my the reefer, hopefully it stays good. My check engine light is still on, but my coolant level is going back up, so that basically, to me that means that the coolant is like um, breaking down so it's not like too frozen anymore. But yeah man, it hasn't been the greatest morning. And then the snow started to come down crazy but as soon as I started recording it went away so maybe I should just leave the camera on cause y'all bringing me good luck. 
but I'm not gonna lie, this morning, I had a time this morning. My hands damn that numb. Because man, getting out that truck, trying to check stuff, my hands is just super cold. And I had on gloves and my, my hands still just went completely numb, so. Not the greatest morning, man. Got like 20 minutes left on the trip, trying to get there and just park up, so. So man, I'm gonna try to take this chance and just get off camera and focus and jump back on here once I get to the location. But if it do get crazy, I might have to come back because y'all bringing me some good luck. So I'm gonna just keep my fingers crossed, but not. And then I'll see y'all once I get to this location. This drop off, let me stay focused on this road, man. Catch y'all on the next clip. crazy boy get me out of Denver boy this here is too crazy I need to get out of Denver, Colorado as soon as After possible. After 500 feet, you will reach your destination. The destination will be on your right. This shit crazy. You have reached your destination. The destination is on your right. This right here? Okay. Not number four in that alley. Door four? Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, perfect. But this is crazy, boy. Do y'all see all this snow? Like, bro, come on, bro. This shit crazy. Oh, the dog's back there. Yeah, because I was like, I ain't want to go back there, then I get stuck or something. I was going to go ask him, but he said, yeah, go back there. Because, man, I don't got time to be playing, man. The way this snow look, I don't got no time to be playing. 
I ain't trying to get stuck, lost, none of that. I'm trying to get in and out. Like a robbery. In and out. Oh. I was gonna tight to that wall. It goes super slow right now. Between the yellow thing? Okay. This is fine. Up four. Okay. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. You should put it at an angle. What? Crazy. Why would he park right here then? He should have moved this truck. I don't man. Bro, if he moved this truck, I could just slide straight in there. It'd be easier if you just move your truck. Yeah. If you moved your no, truck. No, 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 you don't need to move the truck. Just go that way and come straight this side. Right here. Bro, this is crazy. This is. Well, go the other way it is. Everybody does. Here, it's not straight. It's an angle. You know the angle? God, bro. Making it way more harder than it has to be with the truck right here, bro. I hate when people try to tell you how to drive that don't drive. I'm 
my it's an angle bro just move the truck I'm gonna just take my time. He's gonna be the one standing out there in the cold, so. I'm out this shit, anger. just crazy man and I'm a window won't roll up look at this I'm a window won't roll up bro this is just not my day I'm a window it, come on oh my yeah this is man 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 I'm about right on it. This makes no sense. Like, bro, look at this. It's an anger shaking my head. Everything about this trip just sucks. Do you have a CDL? Yeah, I, do. I didn't. You have a CDL? I do. L let me see it. There's in my office. Yeah, I bet it is. Hey guy, look. See? People stay trying to tell you how to do their job who don't know how to do it, bro. I don't need your advice, bro.
I swear this gotta be the worst parking ever, bro. Who made this dock, bro? I don't get it. Denver, Colorado immediately. It's gotta be it right here, man. It's gotta be it. This shit is crazy. Man, get this off my truck so I can go. Bro! Almost. Let me see. Uh, well, the pump is not It's a little bit down, so I don't know about that. You don't think the dock will go down right here, like that? Let me see. Then there's a the pump is not It's great. Yeah, I think that'll work, man. Please let this work. Yeah, man, I think that's gonna work. Bro, who designed this dock? Uh, I could tell, yeah, 17. This is crazy. You should go on the, on the number two door. Oh, uh, shit. Bro, 
bro, it's way too early and too cold for this. Shit. So a little bit more to the right? Yeah, see that? It's go that way a little bit, it comes straight. Alright. It's crazy, bro. Oh, man. Straight back? Yeah. After this. You know. Straight back. Let me see. Maybe. Yep. Oh. <laughs> bro, this is crazy, bro. Let me see. Let's find your star. Uh, like it? Woo! Put it back. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Good? Yeah. Perfect. Right on. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, bro. This is crazy. Let me climb up here. I'm on the dock with it. Let me see what they got going on in here. Y'all see this? I'm trying to sneak in here. Nice little warehouse. Bro, these docks suck. This took forever, bro. Oh my God. But yeah, man, this, this was crazy, bro. Another day, another interstate. We picking them up and putting them down. We out here in the snow with it really snowing right now catch y'all on that vlog man let's go